Hi, I'm Carly Cornell. And I'm Harvey Cornell, and this is Dragon Phoenix Games. So today we're going to show you our cooperative adaptation for the game Karuba. Do you want to tell yeah. us about it? Sure. And then this is one of our continuing series of cooperative adaptations under our uh, title Games for Friends and Lovers. Right. Uh, this is the third one that we're um, putting out there for you guys to enjoy. Um, now this one can be played with either two or four players. It doesn't work with three players the way it's set up, but we're going to demonstrate the two-player version of it. Uh, but you, you can see either the two or four player version in the rules that we will make available. Um, the, the difference in this game and the regular game is that instead of each player having four adventures and trying to get all four adventures uh, to their temples, uh, we're each going to start with two adventures that like normal we have to get out there to the temples but when say for example when my adventure one of my adventures gets to his temple I will hand it to Carly and she will put it at her temple and then she's got to get it back out to the beach and vice versa when she gets an adventure to a temple she'll hand it to me and I'll put it at my temple and I have to get it back out to my beach so there's a, a real cooperation thing that mm -hmm. you got to get your adventures over to the other player and they got to get theirs over to you and then then you work with the other players adventures for the rest of the game so that's what you're doing um, you're not concerned with points at all in this game unlike the regular game because we're not competing we, we have an objective that we're trying to accomplish and that is to get all the adventures to the temples and then back out to the beach on the other players board but also uh, we also have to gather at least four pieces of gold between us so it doesn't matter whether Carly gathers four or I gather three and she gathers one. As long as between us we have collected four gold and we get all of our adventures back uh, back to the beaches on the other player's board before all the tiles are gone. Uh, so that's what we're going to do with the gold is it's not worth points, it's, it's a treasure that you're trying to get. Now the diamonds, uh, they're not going to be treated as treasures, they're going to be treated as uh, power-ups to allow you to take extra move points. And we'll demonstrate that uh, during the game. So we're going to uh, show you a few turns. We've played the game for a little ways and got part way through it to a good point to show you some examples of what's going on and we'll explain a little bit about how each of the features work in this example. So let's start from where we are. Okay. Um, I'm drawing, Carly's just following along, so the next tile I draw is number two. Okay. And so what's Carly want to do? What do you, you do gonna, with your you meet first? Yeah, okay. Um, so I have most of my paths built out, so what I'm going to do is use two points of movement to move my yellow guy here, and that allows me to pick up a diamond, <clears throat> and that allows me an extra point of movement, which is really great in this case, because <clears throat> I'm going to use it right away, because that takes me off the edge of the board, which means that now he's ready to move across Harvey's board. Right, so now whenever I'm ready and want to use move points, I could use that to move and I take a point to get it onto the board and then continue on from there. Now, Carly did not have to use a diamond immediately. She could have saved it for a later turn, but she just happened to have a good time to use it. You can actually only use the diamonds when you're using a tile for movement. You can't use it on the same turn that you use a tile to place on the board as a path. What are you um, going to do? Now, so I've also... I do need a couple more paths built, but this doesn't really work for me, so I'm going to go ahead and use it for movement. And as it turns out, I have a goal that I'm close to uh, picking up. Actually, it's not really on my path, but I really need the gold. So I'm going to go ahead and go slightly off my path so I can pick up a gold. That's what okay. I did with mine. Because now we have, between us, we have collected two gold and we're trying to get two more. I've still got one more on the board. We're going to have to find some more or we won't have enough. But let's move on to the next play. Here we got the, the tile number five. Okay. And I see right away what yeah. I want to do. So go ahead. Because uh, I still have some path stuff that's missing, and, and that will help with my path. So I'll go ahead and place it on a path. Okay. Um, I, again, have my paths built, so I'm just going to use that for movement. That's three points of movement. And now I'm going to pick up Harvey's blue guy and come in one, two, three, towards right. my blue. This is my uh, blue beach spot that I'm tra aiming for. Right. And yeah, see, I had uh, finished the blue one earlier before we started the video, and so she already had that waiting 
Mm -hmm. Okay, so next we have tile number 35. Okay. Um, I'm anxiously trying to get this uh, purple guy back over to her because she's going to run out of stuff to do if I don't get, see if she gets this one home and doesn't have anything else to do, she's going to be wasting time waiting for me to get this other purple guy over to her, so I need to get moving here. So I'm going to go ahead and use this two points and get him moving some more. And look there, I get to pick up a diamond, which I can use on a move turn. So I'll go ahead and use that to move me one further. Okay. And I'm going to move two here. And look at that. It puts me on a diamond also. So I'm going to go ahead and use that. And that puts me off, which means that I'm home now. Um, so I've got one guy in, and uh, we're that much closer to our victory conditions. But we now, just exactly like I said, we have a problem that Curry has nothing else that she needs to do right now. Right. So she's wasting time so waiting for me to get someone over there to her, <laughs> so we're in trouble here. That was not good. But Okay, so now we have the number 10, mm -hmm. which has a diamond on it, but it's really of no value but Curly. But it will help me complete my path. Now my path is complete. I just need to get someone over there to her okay. before we run out of moves. And so she, and just, had, she just had to throw it away. Uh, okay, 15. Mm -hmm. That's worth two points of movement. So I'm going to go ahead and move. Oh, actually, I forgot to place a diamond on this one when I got it. So I'm going to move two with that one, which lets me pick up a diamond and move one more. So I'm getting close. Okay. <sighs> Keep going. <laughs> so we're going again. Another uh, 27. It's got two points of movement. Now, okay. I could... You know what? I need to pick up that gold, but it's going to delay Carly a little bit more. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but, but if we, we don't get the gold, gold, so I'm going to go ahead and pick up the gold and hope that she's still going to have time. Yeah, because your yellow guy can't even get there. So right, the yellow guy's blocked. I wouldn't be able to get there. Mm -hmm. Okay, now on number sixteen, That's which gold. does have a gold. If Carly's, if there's a way, that, is there any way you could place it and still get to it? Um, so I'm who's gonna, coming in? I'm going to give you a purple guy. guy. He's going to come this way. I, I uh, no. Mm, there's no way to get to it. <laughs> no. you're, you're stuck. I'm stuck. I, I don't have any means of getting there. Um, maybe that. Oh shoot. Maybe I have to go ahead and put mine here so that I have another gold on my board mm -hmm. that I could get to. Yep. But that delays me giving her a person again. Okay, number fourteen again. Gold mm -hmm. that you can't get to. Yeah. But, but I will go ahead and move off and then give you your person so okay. you can go ahead and use it for movement. Oh, okay. That's what I'll do. <sighs> but we're it's pretty I close here. Yeah, I don't know if we're gonna make it. Twenty one. Alright. That gives me two points of movement. One, two. Okay, that means I can move my brown go if you're not gonna get gold, I can move it over and pick up mm -hmm. the gold. Go for it. How much all that wasted movement? We're, we're going to run us. out, but okay, I got the golds. So we've got enough gold now. Yeah. But we only got four tiles left. Yeah, I don't know. What 31. 31. That's two points of movement. One, two. Uh, okay, I'll move I'm going to get off. Two. Um, going to be tight here. Mm -hmm. One. It's going to get okay. my brown one off. Two. Okay. And I'm 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 gonna go out, I'm gonna mm. be able to go off on the next move. Just question of whether you. The can problem move. is I had to get I'll three gold. That's enough. really caused yeah. me a problem. Okay, twenty-eight, two points of movement. All right. I'm done. And the final one. Oh no, t three. nine, three points of movement. I'm one sure. <laughs> <laughs> and that's how you lose at this game. So. <laughs> Way lose. <laughs> so, okay, so that's how you play Karuba and cooperative mode. Um, and except maybe you should do a little better and win. <laughs> try to win, yeah. So I hope you enjoyed this. Um, if you want instructions for how to play this game, see us on our website at www.dragonphoenixgames.com. And if you uh, will please join our mailing list. We'll be happy to give you a link to the instructions for this game, plus Carcassonne and Catan. So, enjoy, and hope you 
make good friends. <laughs> Thanks for joining us. Thanks. Bye.